So we are here this afternoon with Mazen Alamki. He is the COO of Mabadala Petroleum. Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us. First up, it's been a challenging last couple of years. How are things going? How is business? Well, uh, thank you for having me. Um, I think uh, it's not only been challenging for the last couple of years. I think it's been challenging and volatile since 2015. And since then, we knew that things are going to change. And we've taken and embraced that change and we pivot looked at all of our processes and, and operations and productions that are needed in the case of uh, moving forward post COVID. And uh, it turned out to be fantastic for us. Uh, we managed to react. Uh, we learned a lot more about our organization, how agile. And uh, I think we can now redefine resilience in a different way. And obviously we've just had COP26. Thoughts on that and the energy transitions that are required to get us where we need to be? Again, uh, the energy transition started a long time ago. I think the, uh, the pandemic has accelerated that. Uh, what we see right now is that we all have a sense of common purpose as far as oil and gas companies are concerned. Um, we don't see that going to change because our strategy uh, since inception really is to look at a gas weighted portfolio. Uh, and with that, we know that it's, a, it's the fuel of, uh, of the transition. Um, and with that in mind, I think we are well prepared as Mubadla Petroleum, we were looking for more opportunities in that area. We'll see what happens at the, uh, at the um, end of the transition. And our company is going to find it challenging heading towards net zero? Well, look, um, as far as we're concerned, the most important thing is not about um, talking what type of um, you know, uh, fuel or, or gas, be it. I think the most important thing is for us to make sure that we have a neutral emission scenario. And uh, for Mubadla Petroleum, this is, these are the efforts that we're taking uh, place. We're not going to make any announcements, uh, as it were, but certainly emissions is, is, is top in our agenda. And technology is at the forefront of really driving the energy sector at the moment. What sort of tech are your clients asking of you and, and what are you delivering in, in the tech world? Well, technology is definitely going to redefine uh, oil and gas companies moving forward. I think for us, uh, most of the uh, technologies that are out there, and we can't ignore, is a digital transformation. We've embarked already on, on few initiatives within Mubadla Petroleum, but we're also looking at technologies that will reduce emissions. And that, in my opinion, is also going to be pivotal for the energy transition. So. And how important is Adipec and are you glad to be Absolutely back? Absolutely fantastic. I think Adipec has been uh, the place where all world global leaders meet. Uh, I'm glad to be here. Uh, there's a lot of discussions around partnership and we're seeing a lot more closeness with the uh, companies that are looking for the same solution really. So, And how are we, just finally, how are we doing regionally in moving towards being more environmentally friendly, sustainable and renewable energy? There, you've seen the announcements with ADNOC and, and, and the other uh, regional countries. These are efforts that are going to take place. Um, a lot of plans have been put in place. Um, I can't really comment more because we are more international, but then uh, I, I see no reason why they would be uh, spearheading the efforts here in the region. So.